Oh my guys, so you're welcome to my channel where we discuss everything our platform and as well some bit of data analytics. Today we want to look at something very exciting and essentially maybe you found yourself in a situation like that. You've had a Power Apps Canvas app built in your own environment. And I want to share that app with somebody outside of your organization. Remember that Power Apps is organization restricted in the sense that people can only have access to the app that you built in your environment if they belong to your organization. So for whatever is outside of your organization, they most likely would not be able to access the application that you have in your environment. And by extension, you would not be able to share it with them. But in some situation, you want to share the app with them. Maybe you want them to continue to build something or maybe they are even looking at building something similar to what you've built. In order for, not, for them not to start afresh, not to start from the ground again, how can you assist them? Start off with what you've built and then they can pick it up from there. So what you can do is to export what you have built within your environment. And that's exactly what we'll be looking at in this video in a couple of minutes. The very first thing you need to do is to sign in into your past environment, which is what I've done at the moment. And I'm currently in uh, this environment. So I'm gonna switch to this particular environment for the moment. And uh, for me being in this environment, what I would do very quickly is to navigate to the apps that I've built here. And um, I will look at one of the apps that I have within this environment, which is this employee checking application. So once you have the app selected this way, what you need to do is just look at the very top. So you see a button which says export package. The other alternative you have is to come to the ellipses here and um, you also say export package. So either of the options would work just fine. So select export package. And when that opens up, you get a window that is similar to this. And here it asks that you give your package what you want to export, you give it a name. So here I'll just give it the same name. So I'll call it employee check-in and uh, it shows me the environment that I'm currently in and so I'll just nothing really so special to set up here so for this it's on the import side of things that you will need these and essentially what this is about which is um, the update button here what it is about is when you want to import these for instance if you will be importing this into the same environment how do you want the experience to be? Do you want to update what already exists? If the app already exists, do you want to update it? Or you want to create it as new? So that is what this is just about. So by default, you have it set to update. So if I click on the update here, I have an option to say that it should create as a new app when it's been imported. I want to leave it as some um, update. So I, I'm just gonna ignore this for the moment. It's something we'll say how this plays out when we get to the import side of things. Everything said, you've given it a name, then I'll come here to click on export. Once I click on export and then this, you get a notification at the bottom left here saying that um, it's creating your package. You need to just stay on this page. Um, sometimes you might break off because of internet issues. But once this is exported successfully, you get something drop on your system is downloaded to zip file so if i open that uh, up i'll just get something like this which i'll bring up on my screen very quickly so this is what i have so this is what i just exported employee check-in and if you look at the time this is some um, 245 a um, okay not this so this is it here 1256 a.m this is with the one that just came in um, so we've exported this now and these that you have exported which is in zip file you can actually share this with anybody regardless of what organization the person work in you share it with them they will go through the process of importing it and once they are able to import it 
they have a similar experience as what you would have in your own environment. So let's let's see how that plays out. So I'll pretend as though um, I work in another organization. And so what I would do is I would switch my environment now, go to my own personal environment. And now that I'm in my personal environment, I will just come to apps. And then here, these are the apps that I have at the moment on my environment. So I will look at the top left and you see a button which says import canvas app. So I'll click on import canvas app. And now it's asking for what I want to import. So remember that in the last uh, exercise, we exported from a, 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 a different environment and so now we want to import into another environment so the same experience applies if you will be importing into another organization's environment so it doesn't matter what matters here is you have exported from a, an environment and so you want to take it into a different environment so here we want to import now so i'll just click on upload and so I'll select what I want to upload, which is a zip file that I downloaded. I exported from the default environment, which I was in at, at that time. I'll click on open. So this would take um, just some seconds, depending on how strong your internet is. And once this is successfully uploaded, you'll get a notification to confirm that to you. Um, so just hold on some seconds. Okay, fine. So now we are in this window now. We have not imported this. And here are just some quick settings here. What we saw earlier when we wanted to export was this button which says update. Import setup, update. And like I mentioned then that this only applies to when we want to import, which means that if we notice now, look at the bottom right, this import button is grayed out. And the sole reason for this is because of the fact that we do not have an existing app with the same features and name on this environment. And even we had, we had an existing app which says employee check-in, we would have been able to go on to update and this button would have been active for us so because we don't have an existing app so we can say update so I'll click on update here and so the setup i'm gonna switch this to create as new and i will save of course you can change the name here if you want to i'll click on save and immediately i change that to create as new then i have the import button active so this is essentially because it's just to manage whether you have the app already existing, which of course would allow you to update. If you don't, then you need to switch to create as new so that it updates, it imports as a new application. So now I'm gonna click on import. And now if you look at the bottom left, you see that it's importing. And in just a few seconds, we should get a notification that this has been successfully imported. Perfect. So now all packages and resources were successfully imported. Excellent. So that's how we meant to do. So if I go back to apps now, I should get a new app, which is employee check-in and was imported 50 seconds ago. So the very next thing that the individual would do, if it were to be that you are importing this into a different environment for a different organization, what you will need to do here is just to come here, edit the app, and then change your data sources. And of course, one of the key things you need to take care of is to ensure that your data sources, they are structured the way they were from the source. With, um, by the source, I mean from where it was exported. So if you had the column structured in a particular way, you would want to follow that so that it minimizes the work that you would do in the new environment that you are importing that into. So this is essentially it, how to manage sharing application with people outside of your organization, and most especially with developers who want to kickstart their own development right from where you, are, you stop. So they don't have to start from the very beginning. I hope you found this helpful. Um, you, you could mention that in the comment section if you have specific questions, please let me know. Thank you. See you at all the times.